rising sea levels, intensifying storms, eroding coastlines. These are all signs of global warming. Fluctuating temperatures and erratic weather patterns are now wreaking havoc. Hit the hardest are vulnerable small island nations in the Caribbean. Grenada, known as the Spice Island, is a country of just over 100,000 people. It's famous for boat building, nutmeg, and pristine beaches. Five years ago, Hurricane Ivan pounded the landscape for six hours straight. Crops were wiped out and homes ruined. The shock was intense. The last deadly hurricane before Ivan hit Grenada in 1955. I experienced that already with my mother. Yeah, well, when we were to school. With no major storm for 50 years, Grenadians like Philbert Andrews grew complacent. They never expected Ivan to unleash its fury in 2004. We asked Philbert if he was scared when Ivan struck. If, if I'm scared, <laughs> if we put a plate of food me, I don't want it. Yeah, Allah we, Allah we scared. Yeah, I don't like These islanders thought they were safe because Grenada lies south of the hurricane belt. But that's changing. If there is global climate change, then the global positioning with regards to where, you are, where the hurricane belt is and where it's not <laughs> has to be, has to be um, reconsidered. Crofton Isaac is a marine biologist. He thinks countries that were free from hurricanes, like Grenada, will experience more intense storms. If we don't change, and you rely on the old maps and the old, the old paradigms, then you may in for a serious shock. Grenada's two major industries, tourism and agriculture, were devastated by Hurricane Ivan. During Ivan, the winds came down from the Granitang area and totally smashed up and eradicated the house. I had to leave and run across to my garage, which we now converted to the home. Not only did he lose his home, but plantation owner John Branch also lost 95% of his nutmeg crop. He lives in the capital city, St. George's. Every day, he drives to his 600-acre estate 40 minutes away to manage his spice business. Grenada relies heavily on nutmeg for revenue, and Branch's estate produced more nutmeg than any other farm in the nation. Before Ivan, John's harvest fetched almost half a ton a week. Now he barely gets a tiny fraction of that. For real economic full production, it would take about maybe 10 to 13 years for a nutmeg tree to come into full bloom. While he waits for his nutmeg trees to mature, the little he reaps is sold to tourists. Well, it has a flavor. Yeah, yeah, it has the nutmeg flavor. Back in the day, John sold them directly to the local Nutmeg Association for processing and shipping to international markets. His loss is a heavy blow for him and the country's economy. Despite this, the government of Grenada is encouraging farmers to begin replanting. Loans and grants were approved for land clearing. And most homeowners fixed up their properties. But there's more to be done if Grenada is going to withstand the next storm. It must protect its ecosystems to minimize coastal erosion, especially mangroves, which act as barriers against the intrusion of seawater. Because the mangroves too. Minister of Tourism, Glynis Roberts. Um, within my constituency, we've lost over three acres on one side and maybe another acre or two on another side. A project is now in full swing to revive the mangroves, and coastal barriers have been constructed to hold the sea back. This road is being moved further inland, 
and seawall defences have been erected where the old road once stood. Now people worry about whether extreme temperatures may stifle tourism. A lot of the temperate countries like the UK and the US, they tend to come to Grenada for in the winter time and so for warm sunshine. Steve like Nimrod is a lecturer at St. George's sure University. If the summers become much more warmer, then they might have less of a reason to actually come to the Caribbean. But help may be on the way to Grenada and small islands. World leaders are getting together to find ways to reduce greenhouse gases. In the meantime, Grenadians are bracing themselves for the next major storm. It could happen any time.